Hello guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing this flyer using your Android. And the apps we are going to be using is just two apps, which is Pixar and Pixar app. Yes, Pixar will be used for our manipulation or photo manipulation. And pixel art is what we're going to use for the design pixel app. So, firstly, we're going to use Photo Room to remove our background. The background, the necessary background we need, we'll be using Photo Room. So, this is the picture. I've already removed the background, but I'm going to do it again for you guys to see. And if you need the picture and the resources I used, you can get them in the description. So after this, you are going to click on transparent. You are going to click on transparent and it's going to save it with full quality. That's the good thing about a photo room. You export it and save to gallery. Now we are going to add another photo. You go back go back again and we'll add us the second photo we need for this which which is this one so it's going to automatically clean it with full quality and we click on transparent and it's going to export the file to your gallery so after this being done, the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and do the manipulation, which is done in Pixart. So we're going to go to Pixart to do the manipulation. It's not really that hard, it's just um, adding your picture, reducing the opacity and changing the blend mode. That's just it. It's not, it's not something too difficult to do. So we'll just head over and do it quick. So this is our picture. What we're going to do is to add photo. We're going to add photo to this picture, which is the building you see in the design. If you watch the design, you will see a building on her face. That's the photo. So we're going to add photo. This is add photo. We're going to be adding the building. This is the building I used for it. And we'll click on add. So we'll be adding this on the first face here. We'll be adding it here. Just like this. Perfect. And what we're going to do next is to change the blend mode to screen as you can see is looking familiar with the old design so we change this to screen and click on ok then we'll, we'll go to the eraser tool and go to eraser increase the size to your preferred amount then make sure that the hardness is reduced the hardness should be fully reduced and the opacity should be reduced a bit and we are good to go then you can now erase this the, the ones that came out of the image you can erase it out you can take it off to the area where the face is just slide don't do too much just keep hovering on the outer part till it's gone everywhere Both the lower part of the face you can see how we achieved this and a little bit in the front of the face yes just like this and that's how we achieved this so we're going to click on the check mask check mark to verify and another thing we're going to do is to add another picture I'm going to add another picture to this for the second face we see so we add photo 
and we'll go to the second picture we can use this one it doesn't matter they are all building so we we'll use this for the second one you can use any of your choice but if you want to use the exact one i used you can check in the description and you will see you will see the picture i used so we are going to change this also the blend to screen and we are going to do the same thing we did for the first one which is to use the eraser tool make sure the hardness is reduced to zero and we erase you can see for the first picture that some of the buildings are still shown so we are going to make sure that it brings out a neat job so we are going to erase it gently to bring out everything in it so this is how this was achieved just going to move it a little yes and go go back here to erase this part of the picture to make it smooth and clean and that's how we achieved it but at the end of the video there is something you need to add to this um to this picture to give the grainy effect the grainy texture you saw so stay tuned and watch don't miss out anything because there's more to this there's more to this design so i'm just going to click on the check mark and save i'm going to save this and we're going to head over to our pixel lab close so guys this is the pixel lab and we're going to delete this we're going to delete this and we're going to add the size so i used 800 800 as the width and 1200 as the height for this particular design uh sorry not 1200 1020 is a bit too long so 1020 for it so we're going to go ahead and bring our background used for this design So this is the background I used, we'll be increasing it till it reached the background and we're going to add the picture that we did on Pixar but don't forget there is still an editing we need to do to this so stay tuned. That's all I can say now, just stay tuned because there is more to see on this there is more to see you have not gotten the grainy effect the grainy texture so you have to watch closely on how i achieved it that's why i said you must make it give it a clean work as you can see there is still a little bit of line showing here so you just have to use your eraser to to erase it a bit you know for this you have to erase it a bit for a clean work so it's advisable to reduce the picture when when double when giving the double exposure is advisable to reduce the picture that's the building picture so it does not cover everywhere so we're going to add this as the next just here this is perfect just at this place and what we are going to do next is to add the gradient if you watch closely there is a gradient given to this design at the background there is a little gradient so we are going to add it black gradient so that it will help our pictures to be visible so we're going to add it we'll go to the shape we'll go to the shape tool and so guys we're going to go to the the shape we're going to create a square shape 
to add underneath this design and after that we're going to change the color of this to black and we're going to increase the blur radius and the stroke so this is how it's going to be just a little we need not too much just a little maybe this is okay then you can adjust everything else can bring this a little bit down and that's it the next is to just add your font you can add anything the what i use here is lost in two words it's just like a fictional movie poster so i'm just going to do this same thing So I'm going to increase this. Now I'm going to change the font. Let's use this font. So we'll use something like this. And I'm going to add another text. and we're going to use this for words or two let's use two because this is like a different color we're going to use so two will be in different color just like as it is in the design you can change the font and everything you need but first we'll change the color color to yellow the color is going to be a yellow color and let's change the fonts to a bold font a visible font font like this just like that and we add the remaining text we need which is world so we add world I'm going to change this to the same font we used for the first one and that is it guys this is this isn't really less necessary is the main thing we are getting here is the double exposure on how we achieved it on how i achieved this double exposure the the rest of the things aren't really necessary so now for the last thing which i want you to know is how i how the grainy texture came to the face so we're going to save this we're going to save this as image and save to gallery and what we are going to do next is to go to our Snapseed, the Snapseed app, that is what I use to get my grain effects. So we will just go to details and in increase the structure and the sharpness, you can see you increase the structure a bit. To give it that look you can see the difference so there's a big difference with this you can see you can increase it any amount you want to but this is too much I'll go with this and you can save and that's how I achieved this design with double exposure effect so if you like this video make sure you leave a subscribe hit the like button 
comment your thoughts on what you think and i'll see you in the next video bye